First impressions count. A strong opening sequence leads the spectator to trust the filmmakers. Just thought I'd come over and say hello to you. I'll try anything once. My experience watching films, as well as teaching cinema history and criticism, suggests that a great movie provides in the first few minutes the keys by which to unlock the rest of the film. Gifted directors layer the first shots in a way that prepares for their thematic concerns and stylistic approach. Sometimes the opening sequence is intentionally misleading, inviting the viewer into active participation with the film. We must be alert to the images and sounds that will be developed throughout subsequent scenes. This is, of course, similar to how great novels offer in the initial two paragraphs the keys by which to unlock the rest of the book. Superior movies provide within the first few minutes the thematic and formal components that will be developed throughout the film. This series is based on Cinematic Overture's How to Read Opening Scenes, the book I wrote for publication in October 2017 by Columbia University Press. The eight titles represent eight chapters that cover over 40 films. Despite differences of nation, era, genre, and style, they are linked by the alertness and engagement demanded of viewers from the very beginning. In addition to establishing the tone, whether tense, ironic, romantic, frightening, comic, or self-conscious, the opening introduces meaningful motifs. These can include windows or circular images or elemental imagery such as water and earth. In Fluss kommt niemand lebend hinunter. Und ich sag dir, es geht doch. The opening makes us aware of point of view. Who is telling the story? Our time with each other was limited, and each lived for the precious hours when he or she could be with the other, away from all the cares of the world. Once upon a time, once upon a time, were the four words that introduced the tale. The voice of the omniscient third-person narrator framed the story with a soothing movement into a past. Film is also once upon a space, or more appropriately, once into a space, as the camera explores the space of the frame. An opening can be both a prelude and a misleading introduction. And an opening can be part of the action while providing the equivalent of a frame around a painting. It holds the picture and keeps it in place. You'll see how this works in a selection of masterful films. They include Polanski's first feature, Knife in the Water, with a focus on how music creates an edgy tension. Bertolucci's Conformist, which exemplifies the brilliant adaptation of a novel into cinematic storytelling. For narrative within the frame, mise-en-scene and the long take, Werner Herzog's Agira, the Wrath of God, foregrounding the poetry that can inhere in an uninterrupted shot. For narrative between the frames, montage, Kishlovsky's Three Colors Red, which uses editing in a visceral manner that connects characters. L.M. Klimov's Come and See, a magnificent Russian drama about World War II, told through the singular point of view of a teenage partisan, for the collective protagonist, Sidney Lumet's powerful POW camp drama, The Hill. For misdirection in visual narration, Milcho Manchevsky's Before the Rain, the first Oscar-nominated film from Macedonia, and for voiceover narration, Terence Malick's Badlands. I'm honored to be your host for this exciting series.